Hello everyone, let's try to be a cheat code ninja today. Even though this is categorized as a medium problem, I consider this to be more challenging than that. Let's look at it. We are given an array and for every contiguous subarray, we have to find the minimum and then we have to sum the minimum of each subarray. At the end, we have to mod our answer by a constant. Let's look at the example. For this array, there can be a total of 10 different subarrays. These are all the 10 subarrays that are possible. Let's take this subarray 3, 1. The minimum of this would be 1. Similarly, for the subarray 1, 2, the minimum would be 1. And for the subarray 3, 1, 2, the minimum would again be 1. The sum of all the minimums of the subarrays would be 17. Let's try to come up with an intuitive solution for this. Let's take this array as our example. Let's try to figure out the number of subarrays for which an element will be the minimum. If we take a look at the subarrays with 4 as the minimum, the subarray cannot have any element on the left from 2 onwards. This is because if that subarray contains 2, then 4 cannot be the minimum and 2 itself will be the minimum. Similarly, on the right side, for 4 to be the minimum, there cannot be an element from 3 onwards because 3 is lesser than 4 and it will become the minimum. You can notice that 2 is the first number on the left which is smaller than 4 and 3 is the first number on the right which is smaller than 4. Hence, the subarray has to be in this range and it must contain 4. These would be all the subarrays where 4 is the minimum. These are 6 subarrays in total. For each of these 6 subarrays, 4 is the minimum and we would have to add it to our result. We can also come up with the count of the subarrays by multiplying the number of elements on the left with the number of elements on the right. The number of elements on the left would be index of 4 minus index of the previous smaller element. And the number of elements on the right would be index of next smaller element minus index of 4 and we would have to add to our result the product of the number into the number of elements on the left into the number of elements on the right. To find out the next or the previous smaller element we can use an increasing monotonic stack. I have recently uploaded a video for a hard problem next greater element 4 in which I have explained how to find the next greater element using monotonic stack. I will advise you to check that out if you haven't used monotonic stack before. With our previous approach, there can be three corner cases that we have to handle. In our first example, let's look at 7. We see that it has a smaller element on the right, but it does not have a smaller element on the left. Ideally, we should have these two elements on the left, for which 7 is the minimum. If we can assume that there is a minus infinity at the start of the array, then it can be considered as the previous smaller element. The difference in their indices will be 2 which is what we want. Hence, by adding a minus infinity at the left, we can avoid our edge conditions. And finally, we will add to a result 2 into 7 into 1. In our second example, for the element 8, there is a smaller element on the left, but there is no smaller element on the right. Ideally, there should be only one element on the right. If we apply the same technique and assume that our array has a minus infinity at the right, we can consider minus infinity to be the next smaller element. The difference in their indices would be 1, which is what we want. Hence, we can avoid an edge condition by adding minus infinity to the right. And finally, we would add 1 into 8 into 1 to our result. In our third example, 4 is the smallest element in the array. Hence, there are no smaller elements on the left and the right. Ideally, there should be 3 elements on the left and 2 elements on the right. Applying our above techniques, minus infinity would become the previous and the next smaller element for 4. The difference between their indices would also be 3 and 2 which is what we want. And finally, we would add 3 into 4 into 2 to our result. Hence, by adding minus infinity on both ends, 
This solves all the three edge cases that we can have. Let's look at a complete example. For first element minus infinity, there are no elements in the stack. Hence, we'll directly add its index to the stack. For next element, we'll compare it with the top of the stack and check if it is smaller than that. Our top element is minus infinity and 3 is not smaller than that. Hence, we'll directly append its index to our stack. For our next element, we'll check if it is smaller than the top of the stack. Our top of the stack is 3 and it is greater than 1. So, we have found the next smaller element for 3. The number of elements to the left would be its index minus the previous index on the stack. And the number of elements on the right would be the current index minus its index. We would add to a result 1 into 3 into 1. And then we would pop that index from our stack. And now we will add the current index to our stack. Moving on for the next element 2. We will check if it is smaller than the top of the stack. Our top of the stack element is 1. And 2 is not smaller than 1. So in this case we will do nothing and add our current index to our stack. Similarly our next element 4 is not smaller than the top of the stack. We will add its index to our stack. For our last element minus infinity, it is smaller than the element at index 4 which is 4. So now the middle element would be 4 and the previous smaller element would be index 3 and the next smaller index would be our current index which is 5. We would add 1 into 4 into 1 to our result. And then we will pop 4 and check with the next top element index 3. 2 which is at index 3 is greater than minus infinity. Its index is 3 and the previous smaller index is 2. The next smaller index is 5. So we will add 1 into 2 into 2 to our result. We would then pop it from our stack and then compare with the top of the stack which is index 2. 1 is greater than minus infinity. So it will become the middle element. The previous smaller index would be 0 and the next smaller index would be 5. So we will add 2 into 1 into 3 to our result. We would pop 2 from our stack and then compare with index 0 which is minus infinity. Now, the minus infinity on the right won't be smaller than the minus infinity on the left. We would add the current index to our stack. Now we don't have any more elements to process. Our result would be the sum of this. And this is 17 as given in the example. The time complexity would be, we are adding and removing each element from the stack only once. Hence it would be O of n. Or space complexity would be O of n because we are using a stack of size n. Let's implement our solution. We'll change the variable name to a. We'll have to add a minus infinity on both ends of the array. Let's keep a variable for the length of the array. Let's initialize an empty stack and our result to be 0. We'll go through each element in our array. And we'll check in a loop if our stack is not empty and our current element is smaller than the element at the top of the stack. This will make it a monotonic increasing stack. If our current element is smaller than the element at the top, we'll pop the top element from the stack. This would fetch the index of the middle element. Our left index would be the next top element of the stack. This would represent the previous smaller element. And our right index would be our current index. This would represent the next smaller element. We would add to our result the number of subarrays in which the middle element is the minimum. This would be the middle element into the number of elements on the left into the number of elements on the right. When there are no more elements on the stack which are greater than our current element, we would add our current index to the stack. After processing all the elements, we could return our result. One last thing is that we have to mod our result with this constant as it is given in this question. Let's submit our solution. As you can see, our solution is accepted. 
If you have any doubts or concerns regarding this solution, please mention in the comments. If this video was helpful, please support this channel by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.